the invasive pest plant Narsala tussock has plagued Canterbury farmers for more than a hundred years. A native of South America, Narsala has no nutritional value to stock. From its discovery in 1905, it spread virtually unchecked until the late 1930s when the government stepped in to help. Narsala tussock gangs were created and workers brought in from the South Pacific. Since sheep won't eat out Nacella, every plant must be destroyed before it gets a chance to seed and spread still further. The aim was to reduce Nacella numbers and stop it from seeding, and even schoolchildren spent their holidays grubbing. Many farmers were grubbing Nacella too, and the combined efforts had a huge impact. By the late 1980s, the infestation was considered manageable. In 1990, responsibility for the control of Narsala fell to the land occupier and Environment Canterbury was appointed as regulator. The Canterbury Regional Pest Management Strategy aims to progressively reduce the number of Narsala plants. Because one plant can produce tens of thousands of seeds, this can only be achieved if all land occupiers carry out an annual control program to prevent Narsala from seeding. As farmers we farm for two reasons, obviously on an annual basis uh, for, for cash flow and profit, but we also farm an asset, which a farm is an asset, and if we uh, allow the Narsala to become too much of a pest that can reduce the value of that asset for us in the long term. We need to not only keep control of our pests for ourselves, but also to protect our neighbours on our boundaries and, um, and, and make sure that we're playing our part in protecting their properties as, as well. Environment Canterbury's biosecurity staff have a regulatory responsibility to ensure landowners' control work is good enough to prevent Narsala plants from seeding. Community support for the work was shown in a survey in 2015. 98% of respondents believed Narsala should be grubbed annually, and 90% believed grubbing wouldn't be carried out to the same standard or on time if Environment Canterbury didn't carry out inspections. If you get called and say they're going to come inspect, um, a lot of farmers don't like it, but, but really it's quite a positive thing because there has to be some sort of backstop to say that this country all gets done. And, that's, and that's, it's, a, it's a positive thing because if for some reason you miss an area or the contracts do a poor job or you're unable to check that that's been done, it's a really good backup. It's a difficult one that, that he can have in a way in that they are being asked to be the policeman to enforce the, the, the rules, and they are rules that we as um, ratepayers in the district have previously voted on. They are, uh, I suppose, obligated to inspect and then enforce uh, those rules to make sure everybody complies. Most landowners are doing a good job, but there are still too many Narsala plants being left to seed. Environment Canterbury encourages landowners to complete their control work early so that it doesn't conflict with a busy time on the farm. By undertaking our work early, if there's any areas that we discover that we've missed or we haven't done as effectively as we would like, it gives us time to actually remedy that before we get into the seeding season. So we're able to actually you know, rectify any, any issues before it becomes a problem. And every farm's going to be a little bit different, I would imagine, but for us here, it, mostly it suits us. It tends to be a good balance between uh, actually controlling the pest physically and also working in with the grazing management of the farm. It tends to be in the, in the, in the late autumn and the early winter when we, uh, can, we can visually identify the plants more effectively and we can also still get around because it's not uh, too wet or muddy and, and we can also uh, not impact on lambing or calving or any of these type of operations later in the, you know, in, into the spring. The only way to win against Narsala tussock is with an effective control program every year. If this doesn't happen, it will spread rapidly again. Environment Canterbury will continue to work with landowners to make sure their control programs are good enough to protect our farms, our livelihoods and our region. By working together, we can stop the spread. <laughs>